Okay. I guess we can do a wee battle. Um, clearing the way, <clears throat> maintaining your training. For every hone your skills, and I guess it doesn't really matter which one you do. Unless I do it. Save our progresso. Maintaining my huge salami in shape. the freaking fog battle um, battlefield uh, except to start from the other side nice uh, reusing there <laughs> a bunch of fuse, okay uh, let's push my Stay focused. best units up ahead. I will prevail. That's my cue. Wait, that's not I too bad. That's not a good idea. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand one pepperoni. There. Okay. Oh, no. We go here. Should As stay there. Okay. I wonder how good the AI would be if I was to like um do our auto battling battle. But I don't want to do it because it's kind of like, why even play the game at all? Holy damn! Your defeat was inevitable. She has one pristine looking axe. Nah. That was stupid though. This is like an actual breeze, to be honest. I don't know. Okay, we're making a huge push here. It's also kind of like tedious to manage so many um, like units. My power. You know how usually on uh, JRPGs we have the like the four units running. You know, oh, the other guard is uh, freaking insane. Legit, just one man army. 
I'll just push her so far ahead, like, because I'm just so confident in her abilities. Oh, wait, there's freaking range units here. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, why do you use your magic stuff? Some uh, weaken him on here. We need to do some a bit of this. You should be on Definitely gaming, that's for sure. God, I wish uh, Ferdinand was a freaking female. Imagine how hot a female version of him would be, you know. It was. It would be uh, pretty spectacular, I must say. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Let's send him out. Oh, he can do some damage without being attacked. I may as well win. Holy. Awful losing to me. Imagine losing to a freaking healer. I could have been sleeping this whole time. You're better than I thought. Freaking got absolutely wrecked there. There's definitely a lot to manage for sure. Lots of characters. That's why there was something like seven or eight. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh my god, eighty-four. I wonder how like crucial he would come across um, in like later game. Like these crit hits, I feel like they're gonna be like difference makers between like winning or losing. I feel like, but it's like kind of relying on luck, which is kind of like, it's kind of not, it's not great. It's one from my deal. Oh, she's a freaking noble. She looks freaking least in the noble kind. Go, go, Edel Queen. Your defeat was inevitable. She's such a like, such an underrated design character, man. Definitely some other good ones, but uh, most of them I feel like they're non-playable. Death Knight I thought was pretty nice. Why are we going north? There's nothing up there. Just get blocked. Use your magic. Oh 
only a fool challenges me. I'm definitely getting some good levels here. Not a double hit anymore. <laughs> Trying to see who would need some, uh, some levels. He would need some levels actually, he's like at least. A leveled up character. And I didn't even enjoy it. It's simple logic. What else we have? We have some bozos in there. Oh, he's freaking dead. Look at, her, look at her stats, man. Yeah, we're gonna go after her, so she's gonna kill them all. I mean, there's no really... There's no point for me, like, moving these units as right now. <laughs> it's mean, fairly easy, like, auxiliary quest or side quest, I guess, I don't know. We're gonna die. Yeah, she's just too OP at this point. Your defeat was inevitable. Look, we can't even. We can't even hit her. She's definitely gonna be the MVP for sure. Stage complete. and reason to excel as a magic class. Sure. What the hell is that? No. I don't care. What a splendid result. Is that so? <laughs> Ferdinand definitely looks like someone who would do, uh, do some horse riding. The battlefield has much to. How long will this take? I'd never have learned this back in. Dead eye. Hmm. Oh, it's a fishing event. The way. Well done. You have my thanks. Steel sword, a merchant military. Wonder if that's a good. Oi. Still have this quest to do. But I kinda need to pick as to what I want to do. Like do I want to do the quest or the fishing and do the tournament? How lands tournaments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Intermediate seal is pretty good. Fish of mystery. I don't want to do an overall battle, dude. That, uh, that takes way too long. I 
gonna do some replenishment. Five activity points. Is that light again? How the hell do you interact with this? I swear. Do I need to? Do, I I really cannot be bothered to like look up to see like. Technically, you Can I have some more bait? Wait, is it done? Noise. Like some of these freaking bonuses and stuff. Oh, more support. Lovely. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some scissoring with me. I'm just gonna do it two times and see if I get anything. Just your regular bozo fish, dude. Turns out a giant fish. That is so stupid, dude. I literally do not know how do I interact with it. Special. Hubert. Let's have Hubert in. While I have little interest in food, I... I appreciate any good meal. He has little interest in food. Oh, what the hell are you? A freaking alien? A lizard? <laughs> A freaking lizard, yo. Do the freaking thingy, man. Uh, 
I mean, level is slightly higher level, but I think he's just gonna get wrecked again. Should probably send like freaking Edelgard again. I'll just send her in. Oh, bro, she is much better. Your defeat was inevitable. issue on the opponent, you know? Ooh. Well, how is that? Dimitri, you're supposed to be like the Lance Master, dude. some singage. I'm in the mail. Two notes. T here does absolutely nothing. For me, I could send for, for some supplies from home, but is there truly not a soul in this place with T? Fit for a noble. Ask Felix for some tea. Lorenz would be a good source. Uh, Casper? It doesn't... Lorenz sounds someone would like tea because sounds kind of Italian. Better at cooking, but I don't know where to start. I wish someone could help me. Should cook with ash. Leo and I might know a way around the skillet. You should ask. Uh. I don't know. I genuinely do not know. Let me do some singage. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people. Professor. Very nice. Can Jeritsa teach me? Mercedes. Her face looks Okay. Uh, Mercedes Benz. Professor, may I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Hmm. She is certainly talented. No doubt about that. But I wonder, what is your opinion of me? I am quite talented too, am I not? Be honest, do not hold back. <laughs> Pretend that I am just a regular person. Not this scion of a noble house. 
Was she over a female? Sorry, bro. You just you just don't even come close, man. You have a dick. She has a vagina. You think she is better than me? Yeah. <laughs> I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, oh. that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Things to disappear over a female. You're gonna get cancelled on freaking social media. You're gonna lose your job. You're gonna get thrown on the street. You're gonna get freaking poop thrown at you. I'm kidding. Sure, okay, well, yeah. go for it, buddy. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Oh my god. We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Oh. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go. It's gonna be like a squirrel. What the hell? That's... well... It will be fine. What the hell are these freaks? I can't do it. It seems you have saved my life. I thank you, Professor. You're welcome, bro. Screw him. All right. Mission. Narration. Nope. I want to sink it. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Miklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. Questions? House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the power to dictate someone's destiny. Don't you agree, Gilbert? He was just another victim of cruel fate. Forsaken by the goddess. Who now demands his execution? Me. What are you saying? I am. Me. Select which units will. The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. Oh, there's a chest. Mm -hmm. 
What do you look at it? What the hell is that? And guy looks like a uh, Master Chief from Halo. Dude. His bigger, bigger brother. Lance of Ruin. Hmm. Oh crap, I, I should have brought my freaking sword. <laughs> Why didn't I bring it? Said I would use it if, uh, for like main story stuff. But not I like auxiliary stuff, because that's kind of meh. Stay focused. I feel like Ferdinand the main story Iron. stuff is very can be challenging. Put me in there. But still doable at the end of the day. I will get the victory. Seems like a tank. That's my cue. He's uh, guarding the thingy. I would have to go all the way around. I think that dude's like optional, maybe. from the lower floors. Watch the rear flank. I didn't expect that to happen. A flank. Hmm. Should probably send like two units to deal with that. Uh, I'll push with my Spear ahead force. What are you? Fire? Well, it shows the check mark again. It's probably because it's an army unit. Army unit. Yeah, I'll send these. And ideally, I want to have like one. I guess a Ferdinand can take care of it. Well, I'll send both as well in her. 
with the flank, I'll probably keep these two around. Might to make my uh, character like a tank unit, to be honest. Some, someone would just build like uh, Adelgar, just pure damage dealer with her axe, me as a uh, tank, and like uh, Hubert as the magic damage dealer. I think that comp would very much work out. Like he would just he's probably gonna take care of this flank. So I think I can just move. Yeah, I think he can handle that. These two on the other hand will will go on here and take care of this for me. Wait, who is uh who is show that the archers. Oh, I don't get it. Probably should stay away from the. Uh, Freaking walls, then. Yeah, she just one shot him. It's just too OP. One step at a time. Now. Good one. I'm no stranger to battle. Your child's play. Thought you could win. It's definitely gaming. Okay. There are two X attacks. The mark of nobility. Good enough. That is a Vichesky. would attack to be honest. Okay, let's keep pushing. Oh crap, they are freaking coming. Unit. Can I shoot them back? I 
think it's only probably from the, the lower, the bottom, I mean the top areas. Whoa. What the hell is that? That's a weapon. Armor Slayer, eh? Or more Slayer. I can move in here. Oh shh. Here we go. Attack them from both sides. It's an ambush. Hmm. More? Bloody hell meat. Too much evasion or freaking defense. How can you gonna hit him with that big ass shield that he has? Not a chance. Oh, well, they're moving. They are freaking moving, yo. Okay, so. Okay. So I need to bring him back now. Move up in here. Yeah, it's just not gonna work, is it? She reach him? She can. Such power dwell. Such power. Go for this. Heal, why not? Oh, more. Oh, buddy, you fought well. Not enough. Yeah. Child's play. Calbert is freaking OP, dude. Um. 
Do I want to even want to go for this guy? He looks like a completely optional, like, freaking unit. This flying though. <laughs> That's a lot of units. Move up here. Oh, yeah, that's that is a lot. Not enough. Child's play. Skill issue. Again. I thought I was dead. I can improve too. Yeah, okay. Um I don't know if this is a good idea to, um... Because there's some range units and there's also this freaking, uh... Tanky boys coming, I guess, as well. What if this guy has, like, freaking... Really good treasure, you know? I feel like I should wait for some reinforcements. Because I feel like we're gonna, we can handle it, but we're gonna take too much unnecessary damage. I feel like I should build up some... Um, I 
Should like a retreat a little bit. Should I have held back? We must all do it. I don't need heals. I'm still gonna hold my ground. going anywhere. That's a lot of damage. I can reach him from here. Yeah, that guy is gonna be a bit of a nuisance. some health. Oh, I can't attack him. Oh, yeah.
Oh my god, I can just swap off the, uh, the sword. Ferdinand, my boy. Yeah, it's probably gonna come after him. Now's my chance. He also hit her as well. You just say bro? Bro. How could you? This freaking dumbass. I've got many skills, you know. Growth is a part. You should be honest. Yeah, I don't 
can kill here. That is that. He's freaking indeed. Oh, I can't move here as well. It's just not worth it. End it. No. I lost. I'm lucky. about this freaking guy. That's all the way back there. You are not the noble stand. So we'll just go for that guy. Why not? coming. Well, that would, that sounds kind of... Just freaking one shot. 
It's a long road yet. Active assuming. Hmm. Okay. Just a little more, I'm almost there. Yeah, this uh, definitely has been a fairly long battle. God damn. It's gonna take a while for my units to can get there all. Okay, I'm just gonna so gonna and we need healing. I think okay for now maybe. comes over there and just kills it himself. I mean... His uh, hit rate is not very, not the best though. It's like he's running consistent 73% or something. Does he have any friends? No, it's by himself. No one. Oh wait, he could have. Oh, bro! I literally could attack there, and yet I didn't. Can I auto battle this? Around the leader, fall back, focus, charge. Let's see how this works. Let's see how we're gonna approach this. Oh, we have to keep doing it? It's for one turn only. Bad, I guess. So, you think you can take the lens from me? Oh. Damn. It's <laughs> freaking dead.
Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children. Oh, black beast. That form. Oh my. Is this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. Monsters, each. That evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Ocean. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go. And that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. If you break down all without the path, they have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit, or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering. Oh crap, it's auto battling. Please leave fuck out of my way. I thank you. I think. Vomiting like freaking stones or something. Let's 
so yeah, there is like a freaking shield around him, it seems like. I'd like to take it easy. Got distracted, I see. Was that? Oh, I think he's day used. So there's nothing you can do at the moment. Actually, never mind. Bold strategy. Make them tremble.
Hmm. I can fight through anything. That would freaking kill her. Be the last phase now. attack with someone who hits harder, I think. There, like this. Fifty-two damage. is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. was swallowing him whole. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes, 
Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that? and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard, I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. <sighs> I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. <laughs> Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the Creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth. What troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? My bedroom. Uh. I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. This month is gonna be all about looking for <laughs> for her. <laughs> Have everyone had seen a little green haired girl, you know? Part one. Oh White the clouds. clouds. Horse Horse bow moon. moon. Rumors, Rumors of, of a reaper. reaper. Oh. oh As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, women, uh, greatly embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horses and empty sacks uh, ready to be filled with game. Men and women are the future. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Lady Bernadetta. I will take my leave. Oh, good. Uh, bye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Finally. Oh, that was awful. Just terrifying. Ah! Please don't sneak up on me like that. It was 
was nothing big. That lady just wanted me to show her around a bit. But strangers are just so nerve-wracking. Oh, yeah? How about when I first met you and I wouldn't come out of the corner or even uncover my face? Actually, now that you mention it, it's funny. Once I started talking to you, I stopped feeling scared. I wonder why. You know, Professor, you might be the first person I've been able to speak to normally since I got here. And I have no idea why. I'm happy about it, too. When we first started out here, we had to do drills. Outside. I skipped those every chance I got. It's a terrible idea going out in the forest with all these people you don't even know. Thanks to you, though, I can actually make it through class now. I'm grateful for that. I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. <sighs> Sorry. I'm okay. I am okay. I'm doing just fine. I feel safe here, thanks to you. What? You, you saw that? Why would you see that? You were watching me? That crosses the line, Professor. Singing? Me? Why would I be singing? I'd never be singing! I've never been so humiliated! Useless, worthless, unmanageable! Okay. Oh, more than so. What's that on the fourteenth day? As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. She's still missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mock. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst, but... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight is coming to claim their souls with his blade. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed if she were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. The Knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Flane has gone missing? Most unsettling. It doesn't seem likely that she's simply gotten lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her? Well then, let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. I hope Flame is okay. What would happen if... Just, what would we do if... <gasps> you can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've heard that she has a crest. But I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. We'll start by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. Yes. I'll find her. Oh. Oh. Just give him some flowers. She's in my house anyways. Oh, well, I cannot do anything else other than explore. What do you have? Hunting and singing. And there's a axe tournament with steel axe plus. 
something I don't really need. Because it's all upgraded, so... Yeah. I mean, there's always just nothing really to buy from here, so like... Freaking same garbage, really. Gauntlet. Oh. Authority E. I don't think she can still buy it, can she? Some stuff as well, shouldn't I? Stuff to sell. Yeah. Hit rate of attacks. Holy crap, that's actually pretty good. I have no I don't see a reason as to why I should not keep it on the card actually. She is my biggest hitter. Don't need, really don't read this crap either. The armor slayer. Sharp enough to pierce even the thickest blade. The sword is effective against armor units. Oh, okay. It's kind of like specific, it seems like. by one. Yeah, these are just like like small boosts, really. Smaller boost, yo. Certain terrain in, in the area into flame. Tell. Anyways. Please report to me. Bandits spotted the unusual trade routes, assistance needed. Let's take an Equine expert, and Darte needs our help. Very important delivery. Oh, yes. Let's have a look at this. Don't make 
Bonito. Wait, who am I? Who am I talking with here? Still that quest for the battle, I think. You're looking pretty tough. to go off of and perhaps but something has been bothering me for a while about Gil. I also noticed him staring intently at Annette once. Hmm. Hi professor. I've actually got plans. To think that I have a next coin. Hey, do you want a gift? Look at all these the gifts I have. Do you want a rose? Thank you very much. Unused lipstick. <laughs> Artificial flower. That. Imagine using uh, those as a gift. I don't know. to recruit them. I don't I don't want to use like freaking units temporarily that just Dear Goddess, hear my prayer. Please watch over flame. Please protect her. Okay, let's relax. Um, may I ask a favor? Um horse have a safe delivery and give them to Marianne. You may find out what you need growing in the greenhouse. Do some cleaning. <gasps> Wait, is this the renown guy? Oh, that's where you spend renown. Oh. See you again soon. So you kind of do kind of want to do the um, the stuff because small boost that they that they give you. Small boost these. I'm not looking for someone to join like on a month basis to like maybe check their like kit out or something like I wanted them to join permanently some of them don't even give you the option like Hilda for example and just literally does not even give you a freaking option when you think about it why why would she be useful you know someone out just outside here oh my just one small girl who's gone astray has caused all this we cannot let this stand you now ask around to see what information you can find come now yeah yeah whatever come down 
come down, okay? I hope you're up for a challenge. So there's no address, but there's only one person who will be working this hardest. Not very upfront, but his true feelings and has no an adorable way about him. But it's not Claude, is it? Say freaking him. I can't believe Flame just disappeared. Oh, are you here? Aloise and Shamir and all the. Oh, wait, that was. Oh, Aloise. Wait, what am I supposed to? What's it? Special letter. What was. Thanks, Professor. Okay, yeah, it was that one. Okay. Good. What is that uh, circle there? Looks like a repeat circle. Impressive. Nice work. Like online. That's so. Wait, where's Hilda? Oh, there we are. I bet Flame ran away. She couldn't stand being held back by Sedith any longer. I can empathize. I know what it's like to have an overbearing big brother. I think I already had tea with you. are unknown. Pray she is safe. We do not seem to have any leads at present. I am one of the suspects, am I? Well, hopefully I can lay your suspicions to rest. Do you know of my, let's call it, unique situation? I was once a knight in service to the Fargus royal family. If Ingrid believes she saw me before, it was likely in Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. Annette is... she is my... but no. I would appreciate it, Professor, if you would ask no more. Hmm. It's like a, a daughter, I guess? They both ginger? search for flame professor if she ran off of her own free will that's her business but that may not be the case for her sake i suggest we assume that she was abducted and begin an investigation who benefits from kidnapping her let's gather all the information we can on anyone who's been acting strangely i have a favor to ask from the the monastery, if someone seems suspicious, you check their room or other places might spend time. And clearly, it's like something related to that whole assassination attempt, and uh, it's like a 
meant to act as a distraction before we, you know, just strike at something else. Whilst everyone's caught off guard, you know, doing one thing and then another thing completely happens. So... Where could Flane have gone? Do you think she's really been kidnapped? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about her. But he's probably just worried like the rest of us. Though it wasn't just Flame. He was asking about you and Captain Gerald, too. Okay. It's definitely a lot to go through and ask. Okay. Hey, Professor, have you seen Manuela? Oh no, another person gone. I saw her gone. running off somewhere in a terrible hurry. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flane's disappearance. Do you know, Professor? No. Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was the senior diva in our opera company. Diva. Yeah. Hmm. Flane was child-napped. That is what you are thinking? And the villain is inside our monastery? Hmm. I must have admittance. One person has been catching my eye. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being reminders of... No. They remind me of warriors of Bridget. Before she was here, what was she getting up to? Okay now, what the hell? It's like a person all the way up, like in the corner. I should probably manually go there. Is this the... The Caput place? Thomas? Is something the matter? I see. So, Flane has gone missing. I will do what I can to support the search. Mm hmm? It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? I was away from the monastery for a few years, but do not forget. I have spent more than four decades in total working here at Garrick Mock Monastery. Yet it was not until recently that I learned that Seteth has a sister. It is only natural to be curious, don't you think? I assure you, there is nothing more to it than that. Flane isn't going hungry. If someone really kidnapped her, I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flane, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. This guy's uh, shirt button is definitely on uh, life expectancy. We're really holding on, aren't we? for Flane's kidnapper. I can't say anything for sure, but I do have suspicions about Yuritsa. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It seems more impulsive than usual. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with Catherine at the training ground. What? Just because how he is wielding his... I was thinking... What the kind of conclusion is that? Can I have some bait? Or how do you obtain more bait stuff? What is this? Hmm. I'll just legit examine the freaking pond. Hey there, professor, did you want to talk? What? Me? Abduct Flame? You can't really believe I did that. Well, this may sound silly, but I was too scared to even look. I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. I looked at it or something, though. 
and going on. Can, it's no way it can be Shamir. She's too hard to do it, but who knows? Maybe the looks may deceive, you know. Hey. What brings you here? I'm taking a break. Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. <laughs> True. Your point being? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Seros, but that hardly links me to Flane's disappearance. We definitely uh, don't have a lot to say, that's for sure. Professor. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Flame? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned this was she a guy. was crest. Did you know that, Professor? If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine Professor Hanneman would have quite an intense interest in her. Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. Surely it's not gonna be a guy who has a... female Japanese uh, freaking hairstyle placed on a... video game boy on a freaking Fire Emblem game, that's for sure. Seriously, when it comes to freaking anime character developments, hmm. some some uh, the way some male characters design, you, I swear it's not first first or second instance where I think it's a female, right? It has to be a young flame's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool. That's who. <sighs> Flame's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare, but there are others who possess it. There you go, Shots. That's, uh, envelops it. The whole agenda is behind because of a crest. Probably someone would wants to just examine it and whatnot. I don't know. To really and go through it. Did you hear about Flane? It's just one thing after another this year, I swear. Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her in the town. If they find anything, I'll know. What? Yuritsa? Hmm. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him today. What would make you suspect him? <laughs> the mask. I see. Well, I'll let the knights know. Spooky, the weather seems suspicious. Well... Because of Flane's disappearance, all of the knights are searching non-stop. But we haven't found a single lead. Sedith's face is getting paler by the minute. It's hard to watch. What's that? You're looking for Manuela? Well, I did pass by her earlier. She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. I'm not close to the guy, so I can't say for sure. But come to think of it, you could be right. Hmm. <clears throat> How sussy. Professor, I knew I could count on you. Manuela ran off with Yuritsa's mask? Hmm, we'll have to speak with both of them. But where could Manuela be? Yuritsa is likely at the training grounds, or in his quarters on the eastern side of the Knights Hall. Okay, well. Have an and no quest. It's the old quest I'm still running.
Yeah, I guess I can just do some events, I guess. So we have, we have some singage and some food stuff. Yes, sir. So one note. What a wonderful painting at the, the shop in town. What a shame. Give me this masterpiece all to myself. Can you think of an art lover in, in Garrick March? I could share with you. Sylvain, Hubert, Eloise. Oh well. Alright. Okay, so we... All of your levels is like default 11, it seems like. Ingrid is a freaking Pegasus Knight. What? People wouldn't like this stuff. Catherine. Ah, uh, I can eat. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my. Teach me. Did you hear about some of the what? What would make you suspect him? I see. Oh crap. Sword training, let's go. C plus. The glory of pro Uh, that freaking that freaking support chatting, I guess. Right. Where is it? Just to go in a very secluded area, I guess. Well, hello, Professor. You came all the way to my room to. Oh. You've brought the materials from your lecture I slept through. I appreciate it. 
Thank you. It's not that I want to miss lectures. Exactly. Drowsiness is my arch nemesis. For some reason, I just can't seem to win against it. <sighs> just talking about it makes me sleepy. That sounds more than a little exhausting. I think I'll stay in. I must compliment you, though. By this point in most conversations, I'm bored senseless. But I'm enjoying this. I wonder why. What is it about you that fascinates me so? You're definitely a strange one. <laughs> Maybe. In truth, your very nature is odd. You're definitely not a commoner, but you don't seem like a noble either. You're something else. And yet you can wield one of the hero's relics. You're like a hero in some silly legend. Or you could be a villain who came here to enact some evil plot. That wouldn't surprise me either. Bro. Hey, Professor. Will you ever allow me to investigate that crest of yours? It won't hurt a bit, I swear. I'm sure I could find out all sorts of things about your crest. And you. Of course, I'm not as experienced with such research as Professor Hanneman. But I do what I can. Someday, I think I might like to become a Crest Scholar. You never know. Oh, don't trouble yourself. I didn't mean now. I've got a lot of other research I'm working on at the moment. I tend to start a project, get bored, and then leave it be. I might be ready to investigate your Crest soon. I'd have to tidy up a bit first. On that note... Okay. Or I could be just uh, a freaking main character of a game called Fire Emblem Three Houses. Linhard, you ever thought about that, you bitch? <laughs> 